So welcome back to another video. If you remember back to video 369,421, we were looking at making some carbon felt. Now you can buy carbon felt, it's really good, you can buy it from our store, but it turns out there's an even easier way to make it. All you need is a little bit of carbon. So this has just come off my barbecue. And quite simply, you just hold it in your hand and feel it for a little bit, and that is now carbon felt. Now what I do is hold it in your hand and then just slowly pull it out and it turns into this lovely carbon felt like that. And as we know, this is a heater. Now, we want to crimp some ends on it, so I'm going to use some trays out of my pork pies, not my pork pies, my mince pies, and we'll just fold them around, crimp them down with a pair of pliers. So we've got ourselves a heater. Now, we could apply a voltage through that, but we're, we're looking at ways of micro-generation again, aren't we? So we're going to do something a little bit different here, and we like using tins. So here I've got three tins of tomatoes. These were about 39p each. And we always have different size tins, don't we? So I've got two tins of beans here. These are, I think, £1.29 for a pack of three. And all we're going to do is thread our carbon felt from a high point here to a low point there. So imagine we've got this now. What we've got is a potential gradient. And we're going to get electrons flowing through here. And this is going to get hot because it's a heater. Now, what can we do with this heater? Well, if you think back to video 495,327.2, we were looking at using objects like thermal mass. And we made a sand battery. Now, we, we worked out that water was a very good material for it. Let's put my mug back into view because we always have a mug there. Turns out that water was a very good contender for its specific heat capacity, but it has a problem. It boils away. <laughs> so we then tried using sand and sand, although in terms of specific heat capacity, it was inferior. The benefit of it is you can raise it up to several hundred degrees C without it melting or boiling away. Now we've been thinking even more about what items have we got available to us that can hold ridiculous amounts of heat. And it turns out there is such an object. What we're looking for is an object that you can just leave out in the sun or apply any form of energy and see it will happily absorb that energy. So at 10 o'clock in the morning, we could give it some energy. And by five o'clock in the evening, it's still ridiculously hot. And it turns out that item is a Greg steak bake. So all we have to do is wrap our heating element around the steak bake. Just like that, you can cover it in sellotape if you want to uh, electrically insulate it. Plug it into some tins of beans and tomatoes. And by six o'clock in the evening, you will have an object that will burn your mouth off. Now that is a fantastic store of heat. So why don't we use steak bakes instead of sand batteries? Anyway, hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks again for watching. <laughs>